What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate y'all coming back. Happy New Year. It is 2021, January 1st. Hope everyone has a good year. Get, get a good start to this year. I know if everyone's like me, you'll be eating your, your collards and hog jaw and all that good stuff today for, to have a good and prosperous 2021. I am out here under the carport again, working on the Mustang, but we're instead of working on the actual car, we are now on to the rear end. Let me flip this camera around. All right, here we go. Got everything laid out for this 8.8 .8 build. This thing is kind of scary to me. I've never tried to tackle anything like this. If I get this rear end wrong, it's gonna mess up the whole suspension on the rear end of this car. So. I think I got those upper and lower boxes in the right spot. I've went back and watched videos, even though it was too late and I've already got them in. I went back and watched videos. I'm pretty sure I got them in, in the right spot. They're burned in there really good. That upper cool over uh, bar is in there and good. And now I'm on to the rear end. I got all of the Marilat Racing bracketry laid out here. So... If you order, order their bracket kit, or the one that I got, I'll have to go on. In the description, I'll go on and link all the part numbers and stuff, if I remember to. If I don't, just reach out to me. If you're trying to reach out to Marilat Racing or Marty, uh, I'll give. I'll, in the description will be all their information. But we got the lower control arm brackets, the shock relocation brackets comes with the shock mounts where they actually bolt onto the shock to the to the brackets comes with a bar to tie everything together all the hardware those pieces right there for that little window that I showed y'all whenever I cut out on the back of the car for the inside of the frame rail I haven't cut the inside of the frame rail yet so I haven't put those on to the welded those onto the car yet. So those will go over there. But I also got his upper and lower control arms, double adjustable. Those things are awesome. The craftsmanship on these things are are second to none. These things are awesome. But comes with all the hardware for those. And I also got his rear end brace kit. So comes with a bar everything you need to put this brace kit on here this deal will go right in here the other way one of those ways i'll figure it out but it goes on there so yeah i got everything here to make this 8.8 .8 second to none honestly it's going to be really everything i need to make this this thing awesome i am going to clean the whole rear end or I probably won't clean the whole rear end, honestly. But these brackets come off. These brackets come off. I'm going to clean the tubes for everywhere where all this stuff welds to. I'm going to clean off where the tubes go into the housing. Because I'm going to weld all the way around the housings. And yeah, so I need to get... I need to unbolt everything off of this thing. Get these... Get all this junk off of here. Start cutting all these brackets off here. Get the brake lines off. I might go ahead. Mm, I should probably drain the, all the fluid out of it. Still has fluid in it. So I'll probably drain all the fluid out of it. And probably probably take everything. Just take, take it all the way down to a bear. We'll see. We'll see how far I go. But I am going to start on this thing. And hopefully building this rear end doesn't take me very long because once I get this rear end halfway done, I can put it up under the car and almost be ready for the rear end to be done to where I can finally move on to the front of the car. So we'll see. I'm going to set this thing up on a time lapse and get to wrenching. <laughs>
realized to get to some of these welds on these brackets, I was gonna have to take everything off. So I went ahead and pulled this cover off. And it actually, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was told this thing had a 410 gear in it. I haven't ever looked. I haven't ever checked to see exactly what it is. While I have it out, I'll count it and see. Being that I'm taking it apart anyway, I'm gonna pull these axles out, <clears throat> get everything off the ends, and then I'll get back to cutting on, cutting these brackets off. First one to tell me what those are for. I was gonna say win something, but anyway. Yeah, so this thing's actually really clean on the inside. It's pretty nice. I am gonna reuse this gear. It is a 410. I'd like to go to a 373. I think I'm probably gonna put a 373 on order. Just go to the 373. If any of you do have any rear brakes, disc brakes for an 8.8 uh, that you're not gonna want brand new asking price for, reach out to me, let me know. I am looking for rear rear disc brakes. I have brakes, I have airspace brakes for the front and a five lug conversion, but I don't have brakes for the rear. It, uh, I am gonna be running four lug for now on the rear. I have, I have some good Mosier four lug axles that were given to me. Unless someone has a decent deal on a five lug conversion with axles and brakes and all, I might be interested in that as well. I did already buy a spool for this thing, but I got it off Marketplace. It's brand new. I could resell it if somebody somebody comes to me with a decent deal on everything I need. So yeah, if any of y'all watching has a five lug conversion for the rear with brakes and all, I'm interested. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these axles pulled out, get everything pulled off these ends so that I can continue cutting these brackets off. All right, after a little bit of cutting, I got all the brackets off. So they came off pretty decently. I didn't get into the axle very much at all. This side I did just a little bit. I'll blend that all out. I am gonna strap this thing down to where it won't spin around anymore once I do start welding stuff on it. Cause I do not want it to move once I start welding. So I'm gonna get all this. I'm gonna put my grinding wheel on there, get all this cleaned up on both sides, and then that might do it for today. We'll see. It's looking good though. Here we go, all cleaned up now. I thought I was recording, but my phone decided it wanted to die, so I didn't get any of that cleaning it up. I didn't clean it up perfectly. I did get into the axle more here than I thought I had. What do y'all th think I should fill that in? Put a little bead of a weld right around that or leave it alone? What do y'all think? It's not, I can probably tell how much I got into it. What do y'all think? Should I weld that up, blend it back in or, or just leave it alone and keep progressing? I am gonna clean this axle up some more off camera, it's kind of boring just watching me grind on this thing. I'm gonna put a flap disc on my grinder and clean these up pretty decently. Clean this, cleaning here up really good so I can weld around the axle tubes. But yeah, she's coming along. All right, yeah, we made some progress today. Got the axle started prepped for the 
Marilat Racing bracketry and, and brace kit to go on. So I'll be working more on that. I'll probably I'll probably finish uh cleaning this thing up right now and I might get the axle under the car. I'll start f filming another video for tomorrow or the next day or something. I might go ahead and get the axle the housing positioned up underneath the car, put the upper control arms on and get it sitting about where I need it to be. Might do that here in a second. Clean these axle tubes up some more. Tell me what y'all think about that spot on that axle where I did get into it a little bit, or that axle tube. If y'all think it'll be all right or not. Again, if anybody has any four lug disc brakes, they're looking to sell. If they got them just laying around on a shelf somewhere, wanting to get rid of them, I am looking for some four lug disc brakes for this thing. Or if you have five, a five lug conversion with decent axles and all, I uh, might be interested in that also. So just uh, comment, shoot me a message on Facebook. I'm Zach Moore on Facebook. It's, I think, a picture of me and my wife is my profile picture. But uh, yeah, if anybody's looking for a, uh, for a pool rig, might be selling my Duramax. I let my buddy drive it down to Florida and back yesterday, the day before. He put about 1,200 miles on it. Had a blowout on the way back, so I'm going to throw a new tire on there. He did pay for it. The tire had a leak beforehand. That's the only reason I'm not tripping about it being blown out. I told him, don't worry about it. I'll put it. I'll, I'll find a tire put on there. He did buy a brand new spare tire for it because the spare that was under there had been under there since 04. So, but yeah, if anybody's looking for a, a tow rig, I might, I might be selling mine. It's a 04, just went over 200,000 miles, been deleted, really good truck. It's just I'm getting ready to deploy and don't want it to sit another seven, eight months. So, but yeah, hope y'all like the progress on the rear end. We're getting somewhere now. I'm starting to see decent progress with getting those upper and lowers in. Now I got all the stuff off this rear end. So, yeah, we're making some progress now, boys. Uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to get this rear end up under there. And I really need to find... Uh, I need to find what... Some brakes or something. I will stick my axles in here and put the wheels on it to get it up under there to see how it's going to look. But yeah so like always comment like subscribe uh hit the bell to get notified of upcoming videos uh shoot me some comments of what y'all think i'm doing right and wrong what y'all would like to see i appreciate the constructive criticism and all that uh uh someone commented about the music so i'm gonna be changing that up a little bit honing in on my editing skills i do uh a lot of times whenever i edit my videos I go through and edit it and I don't go back and watch it like I should. So I'm going to start going back through and watching it. If the music is super loud, like whenever I go into time lapse and stuff, let me know because it, to me, whenever I'm editing on my phone, it seems loud, but I don't, I honestly, I never rewatch my videos because I don't like my voice. So whenever I'm editing and stuff, I have my volume really low on my phone. So I don't can't hardly hear what I'm saying, but yeah, so Give me some pointers. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next upload.